We must work fast because we've already seen the vertiginous drop in GDP and we know that people are worried now about their jobs and their businesses and we're waiting as if between the flash of lightning and the thunderclap with our hearts in our mouths for the full economic reverberations to appear. And so we must use this moment now, this interval, to plan our response and to fix, of course, the problems that were most brutally illuminated in that COVID lightning flash, the problems in our social care system, the parts of government that seemed to respond so sluggishly so that sometimes it seemed like that recurring bad dream when you're telling your feet to run and your feet won't move. And yet we must also go further and realize that if we are to recover fully, if we're to deal with the coming economic aftershock, then this COVID crisis is also the moment to address the problems in our country that we have failed to tackle for decades. Too many parts of our amazing country have felt left behind, neglected, unloved, as though someone had taken a strategic decision that their fate did not matter as much as the metropolis. So I want you to know that this government not only has a vision to change this country for the better, we have a mission to unite and to level up. And it's the mission on which we were elected last year, and we have a plan. And in advancing that plan now, I just serve notice that we will not be responding to this crisis with what people call austerity. We're not going to cheese pair our way out of trouble because the world has moved on since 2008. And we not only face a new and in some ways a far bigger challenge, and I can tell everybody, businesses, that next week the Chancellor, Rishi Sunak, will be setting out our immediate plan to support the economy through the, the first phase of the recovery. But this moment also gives us a much greater chance to be radical and to do things differently, to build back better and to build back bolder. And so we will be doubling down on our strategy. We will double down on leveling up, if you can make sense of that. And this government has not forgotten that we were elected to build 40 new hospitals. And we will. Matt Hancock is setting out the list in the next few days, and that is just the beginning. We will continue and step up the biggest ever program of funding the NHS. And we won't wait to fix the problems of social care that every government has flunked for the last 30 years. We will end the injustice that some people have to sell their homes to finance the cost of their care, while others don't. And we're finalizing our plans, and we will build a cross-party consensus. And so we're investing massively now in education, with over 14 billion pounds for primary and secondary education between now and 2023. And today, with a new 10-year school building program, begin, beginning now with one billion pounds for the first 50 schools, and a vast uh, 1.5 billion pound program for refurbishing our uh, dilapidated FE sector, dilapidated in many places, not here, of course.